Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. Just made my morning chai. I haven't been having it every single morning, which I'm trying not to because I don't want to become addicted to caffeine. And also, I've been waking up in the morning with like a little bit of a headache. And I don't know if it's this or if it's just like stress and anxiety, but I haven't been having a chai every morning, but I didn't have one for like a couple days. So I decided to make one this morning, but this is how I usually do it. I always get questions on TikTok, on Instagram, how I make my chai and everyone thinks it's coffee because it obviously looks like coffee, but not a coffee drinker. I hate coffee. I think it's disgusting. I'm a chai lover, so this is how I do my chai. So I just use the Tezo Classic Chai Latte, and then I put in like whatever milk I have in the fridge. So I have this Chobani oat milk, which I recently just picked up the like Malk brand from Whole Foods because if you look at the ingredients, there's like, I, I guess this one isn't that bad, but they all have like weird gums in them and i'm just not a fan of that so i bought like the expensive mock brand which i'm gonna try out but i just want to go through this first so i put that in there and then for like my cold foam i call it because i'm doing like at home starbucks i never go to starbucks anymore unless it's for like hot chocolate or something so i mix these two things together to make like a cold foam so this is my favorite creamer it's from chobani it's the vanilla coffee creamer me and zach have been getting this for a while they have like a few different flavors but i just used vanilla today and then i put like a little tiny bit of heavy whipping cream in it so it like obviously whips up really well and becomes really thick just use my frother mix those things together and pour it on top and it looks so good and then on top i add some cinnamon and stir it around and it makes like a little cinnamon swirl it's like my favorite thing ever in the mornings it's so so good and i used to just froth this up by itself but adding like a little bit of heavy whipping cream makes it so much better and it seriously tastes exactly like starbucks if not better and you save yourself like seven dollars so that's how i've been making my chai this morning i put on the gold eye patches i just cannot get enough of these i think they're so freaking cute i'm obsessed with them i'm also gonna take this juice shot which i'm not looking forward to i hate ginger juice shots like i hate them so much i hate ginger it's one of my least favorite things but i don't know why like i just said i've been waking up with headaches and this morning i woke up with one i honestly feel like it's just a combination of everything like i was editing last night on my computer and just like stress and anxiety i think that's what's giving me my headaches and maybe the chai thing i don't really know though because it's not like i'm drinking a large amount to like become addicted to it i don't really know so i figured we could take it together because I'm not looking forward to this and everyone always says that ginger like cures their headaches but this is my favorite brand of juice shots it's so good so you this one is called immunity I'm gonna try to do it in one shot so I don't have to do it twice <sighs> Okay, here we go like my heart is literally racing right now I wish you could feel my chest <sighs> stop being a wussy Kate Oh my god that wasn't so bad it's just like wicked spicy because of the pepper and i hate spicy things and then the ginger it's so gross but i'm hoping this makes my headache go away i've been taking like motrin in the morning but i don't want to take that like every day so hopefully this makes my headache be gone all i want to do right now is open my advent calendar so i'm gonna go get it Day two. Ooh, it's a mask. It's by the brand Youth to the People. And it's Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. Vitamin C, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. That looks so fun. It's like bright yellow. Another thing that I'll have to try out with you. Also, I tried to link this for Vlogmas Day 1 which is going up today 
and I could not find this like anywhere on the website so I'm pretty sure that it's sold out which is really sad because it's just like the most fun thing to do and I wish that we could do it together but it's literally sold out but they do have other ones on the website but I don't think that they have like a beauty one like this unfortunately I couldn't find that link for you now we can do Cheetos where's day two i feel like that's the hardest part is like finding the number of the day more treats <laughs> they all look exactly the same they're just like different shapes at least they give him like a good amount because i feel like if it was just one little treat that would be kind of skimpy but there's like five in here you want your advent calendar look it's kind of weird though like they're very hard so I kind of have to like break them up for him so he can eat them. I think he's able to eat these ones. Is that yummy? I don't have any more. That's it. You'll have to wait till tomorrow. No more, honey. That's it. Come here. Hello? Come here. It's not a treat for you, Cheeto. It's eye patches. Zach's gonna put on some eye patches. He tried to do them last night and they just fell off of his face. So I'm gonna do them for him. He's gonna do the blue ones. He wants to get more into skincare. Thank you! Bless you. Cheeto thinks it's a treat. I already gave you yours. Really? Oh, uh, this one's. Aren't they so fun? Thanks. This one's a little close. Do you mind moving it down? That's too close for you? Oh, is it? What do you mean? It's bothering you? I don't know. It's, I guess it's fine. back from the gym I just changed really quickly into my little puffer jacket me and Zach are gonna go run to Dick's Sporting Goods because he wants to get a jersey for the Celtics game tonight we're going with Christina it's gonna be so much fun we're going to dinner in the North End before so that'll be so much fun I haven't been to a Celtics game in so long I don't know anything about basketball but Zach and Christina both love basketball so I'll just be sitting there like I have no idea what's going on but it's still gonna be really really fun i can't wait to go i'm not gonna get any celtics gear because i'll never wear it again but that's what we're gonna do right now i think it's like really cold outside so i decided to break out the puffer jacket from aritzia i did a full body class today on the peloton app it was a taylor swift like her new album class which I also did a Taylor Swift ride on the Peloton bike the other day too. Never listened to like the full album, but when I was doing the class, they had like all of the songs from the album and I actually really like it. I might be a new Taylor Swifty. out of the shower, made my puka tea of the day. This one is mint refresh and it's just peppermint and then something else I forget. But I'm gonna get started on getting ready right now. It's two o'clock and I'm thinking that we're gonna have to leave here at like four because our dinner reservations are at 5.15 I think and they're in the north end which the north end is gonna be crazy on a Friday night but it shouldn't be too bad since 5 15 is like kind of early so excited i love italian food i just can't wait i love pasta like 
I'm so excited, but I'm gonna do my makeup right now. Zach ended up getting just a t-shirt and then he also got a North Face jacket too because he doesn't really have like a winter jacket really. He used to have one, but it got ruined when he was at work one time. So he just got a new one, but I'm using my Merit Minimalistic in the shade Silk. This is my favorite like concealer slash foundation. And then I just blend it in with my little Merit brush as well. It just looks so natural on the skin and it doesn't look like you're wearing any makeup at all. So love that. I feel like it's kind of a weird time to have made my tea, but it's actually super cold outside and I'm super cold and I thought it would be nice to have some warm tea while I get ready. And plus I'm probably not gonna be making it later tonight since we'll probably be back pretty late. I'm gonna set that with this e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. This is my favorite powder because it's not like super matte and it gives your skin a little bit of a glow, hence the name Halo Glow. I think I just have this fear of my skin looking bad because when I was in high school, I don't know what it was, but I had really, really dry skin. And I was starting to wear more makeup and I would notice throughout my day that my skin and my makeup would be like flaking off of my face. It would look so disgusting, nobody said anything to me. That was just a really bad time for my skin. So I just always like to make sure that my skin looks good, healthy, hydrated, it's not dry, and crusty. So that's why I'm always like, I like how it looks like there's no makeup on my face because I'm like traumatized. I'm going to add some bronzer. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. It's like super mini because I got this for my birthday gift back in July. So that's why it's like super mini, but I just love how well this like blends into my skin. It doesn't look orange. For blush, I'm using this NARS blush in the shade Orgasm X. This is like the prettiest blush of all time. It has like gold shimmer in it a little bit and I only take a little bit because it's very pigmented and I just put it like really high up on my cheekbones. I'm gonna fill in my brows a little bit with this brow pencil. It's from Billion Dollar Brows. I'm gonna add some highlighter. This one is the Day Glow Highlighting Balm from Merit in the shade Bounce. This is my favorite highlighter. It is so natural looking and I usually use the shade Kava, but I recently just got this one and it's super, super pretty. I thought it was gonna be too dark for me, but it's stunning. I always put some above my lips too. I just think that looks really pretty. And then I usually just take my bronzer and just put that all over my lid. I swear my makeup has stayed the same for like a year. Like I may switch out some products, but what I do and like how I do it is basically the same. So sorry if I'm boring, but this is just what I like to do. I think it looks very natural and very pretty. Now we're gonna curl. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Merit Mascara because it's very natural looking. I know I bring this up all the time, but my lashes, I feel like I look like Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch. They're so freaking long, and I use the Grande Lash Serum. If you are wondering, that stuff is no joke. It's so good. It's definitely worth the price because I know it is a little bit on the pricier side, but it seriously does work, and I'm like amazed at how good it works because they are so freaking long. They touch my eyebrows, I think. Like I can feel them on my eyelids when I look up. It's like crazy. So I always say this, if you're ever going to buy something that I mention, definitely buy that. This is what it looks like. It's just in a gold tube and that's what the brush looks like. You just put it on your lash line and in a couple months your lashes will be so freaking long i promise you this stuff is so good i'm gonna set my face with the rare beauty mist i'm not gonna do anything for my lips i'm just gonna add a gloss so i'll probably take this one with me in my bag it's from item beauty in the shade come through this stuff smells so good too by the way it smells like candy like this highlight 
It's so pretty. It seriously just looks like my own skin and I love that about it. It doesn't look powdery. I hate powder highlights because they always, like you can always tell they're like powdery, but this is so natural and I love it. So this is what I'm thinking for my outfit. Sorry, the lighting's kind of funky in here right now because of the sun, but I have on this black sweater dress turtleneck thing from Revolve and then my pants are the Daria pants from Aritzia and then I have on some like Chelsea boots from Steve Madden. I'm pretty sure they're from Steve Madden. My big coat is from Zara but the only thing is this is really cute but I feel like when we're at the game I'll feel very claustrophobic because obviously there's nowhere to put my coat and like sitting down in the seats. I don't know. So I'm kind of having a little bit of a dilemma right now because it's supposed to be really cold and we're planning on parking at Christina's dad's works parking lot because the garage for the TD Garden is going to be so crazy, like getting out is always so busy. And so she offered for us to park there and so we'll have to walk from there to the north end which is like a 15 minute walk. But it's supposed to be like in the 30s. And I know that if I just wear this sweater, I'm gonna be so cold, but maybe I'll just like put a bunch of layers under it because I can already tell that this is gonna feel very claustrophobic and it's probably not gonna be the most comfortable thing to wear at a Celtics game. So I might just layer and just wear the turtleneck, I think. I decided I'm just gonna wear the sweater. I just put on a tank top underneath and also a long sleeve. And this is pretty warm itself, so I should be good to walk in the cold. I just know that I'm gonna be so uncomfortable and not enjoying myself at the game if I'm wearing that big jacket. So this is what we're going with. And then I just have my brown bag from Princess Polly and a little MEJ brown clip in case I want to put my hair up. But that's the outfit, black on black tonight. The only Celtics color I have is my dark green nails. So black on black with a hint of brown and a little bit of green. We just got in a little bit ago. I took off all my makeup as soon as we got home. Changed into my comfy clothes. Now I'm gonna lay in bed, edit this video because I really do not feel like doing that early in the morning. I just wanna get it over with so I can sleep in a little bit and just rest in the morning and start Vlogmas for tomorrow. But the game was so much fun and we ended up losing, but it was such a close game. We went into overtime and then we unfortunately lost. I think I've only ever been to one Celtics game other than this one, now that I'm thinking about it, because I know that I've been to one, but I think I've only been to one other one like so long ago. We ended up walking to the North End after we got some little desserts at this bakery. I don't remember the name of the bakery, but it was like right next to this place called Bova's, which if you're from Boston, you probably know what that is, but we got some cannolis and Christina got baklava. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I've heard people pronounce it different ways, but it was so yummy. Our dinner was really good. And yeah, it was just a really fun time, but I'm happy to be back home in my bed. I'm like really tired, but I just want to get this video done and over with. So I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogmas and don't forget to subscribe. All of the fun stuff up. Good night for now and I will see you tomorrow.